Welcome guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create an awesome text effect. We're going to be doing that as a tutorial today. So the first thing I want to do is create a document. I just named it text. Yeah, you can name it anything. And then just select your text tool from your tools box. I'll just select my A, this text tool here, yeah, text tool, and click here and I'll just type um let's see. Let's go political. No more war. I think this makes sense with an exclamation so that I will scream it into their ears, right? And then we change the font to something really, really solid. Um, Nexa Heavy is nice, but I feel like it's not solid enough. So let's look for, let's try and see if we have any of them solid fonts. Let's do intro. Yeah, intro is cool. So I'll just join them together. Doesn't really matter. In fact, it doesn't matter. So let's not do that. So bring it out and just use the space, uh, your shape to, to close up the space a bit like that yeah so no more war and let's just create something like a circle or a circle select your circle and then your ellipse to draw a circle hold control to make it perfect and you're there now i want to split this into three shapes uh to do that i just have to grab my knife tool from here i'll say knife and i'll just use let's just use something like the easier but before i do that i want to select auto close on cut now the reason why i'm selecting this is so it closes the parts that results from splitting an object if you do not close this it's going to split the shape and leave it open right and we don't want that we want the shapes to close up so select auto close on cut and then click outside just drag it just click outside and drag a bit to create your uh, first um dot and click somewhere here and you know Cover it out like this. That should be your first one. Press enter and that should split just fine. So select this other shape. Do this repeat the same thing. Select this click outside and then click inside and you know I didn't plan on doing something straight so I'll undo. Select it again click outside here and then click inside and curve it out like so press enter so we have three shapes right now so we have one move it out hold control we have two hold control and move it out yeah so no more war so we'll break these ones apart so we'll select the three of them press control key and we'll break it apart then we go to our tools box again under this drop shadow we select the envelope and then with the envelope selected, we do we come to the properties bar and we say create envelope from this shape. Now it looks really really you know so let's use original doesn't make sense. Let's use horizontal, sorry, vertical. Vertical looks like the best bet, right? So we repeat the same process, we select this one, we use create envelope from and we do this. Uh let's see original. I think original for this one looks okay, but let's test out the rest. Vertical, putty. I think I'll use putty. And for the last one, we'll do the same thing for this one. Ah, uh, no more war. Let's see original, horizontal, vertical. Vertical looks cool. So if you bring it here, it stays like so. If you bring this one, it stays like so. Bring this one, it stays like so. Yeah, no more war. So this is more like it. Bring them closer. Yeah, you could you could you know fine tune it some more, make it really perfect if you have to. But for me, I think this is pretty much okay. So with this, yeah, there. And then now we could just say Control G on this and maybe give it a color. Oh, um, let's hold. Just click on the blue and hold it for long, and then look for a darker shade. And then let's do a Control D and reduce the size of this one be smaller and then make it darker and then mix it with black then let's send it behind let's do shift page down so with this um let's grab let's go back to our tools box select it and grab the blend right yeah and then drag it into the shape inside right and 
you have something like this and if you feel like it's it's not small you could clear the blend um i think i want to reduce for me i want to reduce this one i want to make it smaller like so good so now we can do that again select the blend to drag this into the smaller one and if you feel like you know the blends are too rough you can increase it by increasing the numbers let's do 50 here let's do 80 you know you could increase it as long as much as you like and then you could also do some extras you could select this particular shape press ctrl c and do ctrl v it will only paste just a single shape right Nick, use an outline for it maybe like a solid blue you know see that it looks really cool could do 0 0.75 could do one point you know something really really solid you can remove the feel if you like that looks pretty cool it looks pretty cool right so yeah we have no more war you know it's actually a design you could you could tweak in whichever way you really like to do and you could arrive at different beautiful solutions for this put the background you could just double click and add the background and just make it like black you know and the whole thing pops right so you have this no more war Ctrl G and then P at the center there. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, just uh, leave a thumbs up and uh, you can drop a comment. And like I always say with all my videos, you can always request for something you'd like me to do. And if it's something I can do, show them. Why not?